Die Rockin' by Whiskey Myers is going to be played in standard tuning and it's being played on electric guitars. I'm going to just show you here on an acoustic. I will say in watching a live video that uh, the lead singer is actually capoed on the second fret and is playing kind of out of a G formation for this song, but the the other two guitarists are playing without a capo and to my ears uh, that's the best way to get the sound of the recording is without a capo. So the intro is going to be utilizing some bar chords. You've got your first finger on the five string three fret and then your pinky finger barring across the fifth fret of strings four, three, and two on the second on the uh, fifth fret. You'll strike that and then you'll slide up two frets into a D position. And then you'll come back down to the C, hit that, and then drop down to an A. And that's most of the song right there. That's the rhythm. So it's like down, up, down, down, down. Inside of this A, you can hear sometimes, uh, and the A is just a standard A chord, like A major bar with your first finger on the second fret of strings four, three, and two. Sometimes in this A, they'll put their second finger down on the fifth string third fret and pull that note sometimes on the 6th string 3rd fret and pull that note like variations between those two embellishments so you can do that and this is the intro and it does it like four times but on the last time it goes so the way that you're going to do that is it slides up to the D then back down to the C then you come all the way up to an E. So this is 5th string 7th fret with your first finger and pinky finger barring the ninth fret of strings 4, 3, and 2. You'd hit that once, that's your E chord, then come down 2 frets to the D chord, come down 2 more frets to the C chord. So that's... Uh, and then you go back to the A chord. So in the A chord, you'll put your second finger down on the fifth string, third fret, pull it a little bit, and then open it back up to the A, and that just repeats uh, as the intro. Now, whenever we get to the verse, it's this pulsing rhythm on an A. So the five string is open, and your first finger is still barring the A chord. And you can hear that little lick. What that is, is I've got my ring finger on the 4 string 7th fret and pinky finger on the 3 string 7th fret. I hit the open 5 and then those 2 fretted notes and then borrow with my 1st finger the 5th fret of strings 4 and 3. Or sometimes you might just go... Um, you could just hold it on the 5th string 3rd fret if you wanted to, but it sounds like guitars are going and kind of pull that barred note as you hit it and then back down to the A. Uh, halfway through the course it goes to just octave, octave notes. So uh, sort of like before with these full bar chords except for just put your first finger on the five string three fret and pinky finger on the three string uh, five fret, I'm sorry, put your, yeah, I think I said that right, your first finger on the five string three fret and your pinky finger on the three string five fret and then slide those two octaves up two frets to the D note and then back down to the C and then back down to the A and this is happening in the back half of the verse. little kind of pull-offs on the either C or the G note. Um, and then during the course it just pulses on muted notes. And 
does a walk up, the way that you would do that part is to hit the open sixth string and then quickly hammer on with your first finger to the sixth string second fret and then go with your second finger to the sixth string third fret, go with your ring finger to the sixth string fourth fret and then raise it one more fret to the sixth string five fret. then it goes back into the intro. So those are the chords and the movements to die rockin'. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how to approach the song.